Hey, are we live? We are. Hey, my name is Pam. I'm part of the doTERRA team uh, here for NBC4 uh, Health and Fitness Expo. I'm going to talk to you really quick about um, gardening with essential oils. Uh, a little background about me. I am um, I'm in the Air Force, currently on active duty. Um, I retire in a year. Yay! Um, and it was a little crazy work day, so my hair is a little disheveled, but this is how I look after I'm in the garden anyway, so. Uh, so um, I also um, received my um, Master Gardener certification about two years ago. Um, so I get hot and heavy in the garden and uh, the essential oils have been my friend um, for all sorts of, all sorts of stuff. Um, so one thing, obviously you wanna protect yourself. Um, so anything that keeps the little beasties away um, is a godsend when you're out in the garden. Um, I got chiggers a couple of years ago and that was absolutely no fun. So if you've ever had chiggers, yeah, you know, they're really gross and the it's painful and itchy. So, and they're hard to get rid of. Um, so that being said, um, I've come up with a couple different concoctions. Um, so essential oils are basically like um, the self-defense that plants use against um, threats in their environment. Uh, so if you've ever done companion planting, you know, um, you always plant basil with your tomato plants because insects that like tomatoes don't like the smell of basil. So the aromas that these plants produce, the essential oils, um, those are meant to either attract like pollinators or meant to deter like greenhorn worms. So there's a benefit to the oils being used in the garden. So um, a couple things I recommend, um, peppermint, is the first one I go for. Um, as far as like plant protection. So peppermint is good for deterring spider mites if you're like for your indoor plants. Um, it's great for deterring aphids. Um, I know like aphids can get problematic in this area. Um, all you have to do is get like a spray bottle and just straight tap water and um, do about 15 to 20 drops of peppermint oil in your little thing here, shake it up and spray it on the on the leaves of the plants um, on top and underneath, but don't do it on a very bright sunny day. You wanna do it on a day when it's overcast um, because the heat from the sun and the essential oil can actually damage your plants. So when you're using essential oils in the garden directly on your plants, always make sure to do it on an overcast day or do it um, later in the evening when the sun is going down. So. Um, definitely not in direct sunlight. Um, another good one. Um, so for wheat, um, we have cinnamon bark oil, which is considered a hot oil, um, which means you don't want to put this on your skin without diluting it with, um, like a coconut oil or another carrier oil, um, because this stuff will actually burn your skin. So one of the benefits of this one is that you can do the same thing. Um, I would only do maybe like 10 drops of cinnamon oil in a spray bottle about this size. I mean, um, when I go out to the garden, I always do like a smaller spray bottle because it's easier to throw in my little um, my little bag of gardening supplies because I have a, a couple of different um, gardens that are away from my home that I work on. Um, do about five drops of cinnamon bark oil in just straight water in a little spray bottle. And you can spray that directly on your weeds and it weeds don't like cinnamon. Anything that's growing in your garden that you don't want there, use some cinnamon oil on that. Um, that'll help take care of your problem because uh, the sensitivity of our skin to cinnamon bark, plants have the same sensitivity. So what burns our skin is going to burn plants as well. So um, doTERRA does do, um, as far as like repellents, um, we have something called Terra Shield. It's our outdoor blend. This thing is awesome. We have little spray bottles, um, two ounce spray bottles. We also have the oil. What I like to do is um, I get the straight oil and I get one of my roller balls. Um, I do about 10 drops of the Terror Shield in my little 10 mil roller bottle. And I top it off with that fractionated coconut oil. And I just rub that on me. Um, number one, the coconut oil helps moisturize your skin. If you're out in the sun and the elements, you're going to need to make sure that you're you know, moisturizing your skin. Um, and it also has the added benefit of repelling um, the little beasties. Um, I also like to use citronella. Sometimes I will make um, a spray with witch hazel 
Um, usually, and what I do, I use my um, two ounce, no, this is, I can't remember how many ounces. I use my little spray bottle. And for this size, I usually throw about 10 drops of an essential oil in it, shake it up just with straight water, or you can use it with hazel. Um, and I just spray it. Um, so citronella is a really good for um, insect, insect repellents. Um, and when you see like the um, citronella candles, the citronella is actually a plant, so you all know. Um, and I used to grow citr citronella plants in my garden. And what I would do is I would go through occasionally, when I would be out in the garden working, I would go through and I would shake um, the plant itself to get the, to you know break up the aroma and like let it kind of dissipate through the air. Um, so I now will use the oil I'll spray on me and I will spray it around the area that I'm working. And that will help repel like uh, mosquitoes and little like bitey flying things. Uh, another good one is geranium. Um, little known, geranium is actually really good at repelling ticks. And I know with the onslaught of um, invasive um, insect species in the area, I can't remember, there's a, we have a couple different, we have the deer tick. We also have quite a few other ticks that are becoming prominent in the area. Number one, if you're in the garden, always make sure you're protecting, you're wearing shoes. Um, I always wear pants in the garden, because um, I like, just to be safe, I like to tuck the bottom of my pants into my shoes um, because ticks are no fun and they're no joke. So another way to deter the ticks is ticks actually don't like the smell of geranium. They hate it. So I lather myself up. I keep a roller bottle um, in my purse with me at all times with geranium. Um, it's good for a whole bunch of stuff, um, but it's especially good for repelling ticks. Like I said, they do not like the smell of this stuff. So I put it around my ankles and then I take my pant cuffs and I tuck them into my shoes. Um, that's just another one. Uh, let's see, what else do I got? Um, another cool thing is with attracting um, pollinators. Um, I have a pollinator garden in front of my, my home. Um, and one of the things with a pollinator garden, you know, it's the, like the really fragrant flowers and stuff. Um, one thing you can do, if you have um, pollinators that are potted, you can take a cotton ball and you can douse it with lavender. Um, pollinators also like the smell of rosemary. Um, you can douse the cotton ball with um, either rosemary or lavender or any of the floral scents like ylang ylang um, and just put it in the pot and that will be like an added detractor um, for your pollinator friends. And I know that we really need to really need to get our pollinator population up and running because um, we've just had too many too many insects kind of on the on the downside on the on the plummeting side. Uh, let's see what else do I have? The peppermint terra shield, herbivody. This is a tree oil. Um, this uh, the herbivody is actually in our terra shield blend. Um, it's made from um, it's a tree from the Pacific Northwest. It's, where it's known as the tree of life. Um, some people either really like it or they don't like it at all. I love the smell of Arborvati. Um, you'll notice when you start using essential oils, you tend to gravitate towards like, um, some people really like the herbs. Some people really like the spice. Some people really like um, the floral. I just happen to be a girl that really loves the woods. So Arborvati and cedarwood are um, other oils and um, two other oils. I use these when I hike. Um, so I have a roller bottle that I'll mix upper body and cedar wood together with, and I'll keep that on my, on myself when I'm hiking and I'll put it on my legs and my ankles and any exposed skin that I have. Um, that's just an added benefit of, you know, keeping things from biting me. I don't like getting bit. Um, another oil that's really good for insect repellents is lemongrass. Um, I sometimes will grow lemongrass in my garden plot. Um, it's if you smell citronella and lemongrass, um, this is more lemony. Citronella is um, definitely a very unique smell, um, but same benefit. Um, going through and kind of shaking, if you take the stalk of lemongrass and you break it, before I started using essential oil, that's what I would do. I would get my lemongrass stalk and I would break it and I would just rub it all over me. So going for the, you know, but I don't have to do that anymore because I have the oil. So lemongrass is really, really good for repelling insects as well. Uh, let's see. Thyme and basil. So basil, um, like I said, to, on your tomato plants, um, I always co-plant um, basil with my tomatoes, just because like I said, a lot of things that like to eat tomatoes don't like the smell of basil. 
So you could do a double whammy, plant your basil, because who doesn't love basil? And then you can also spray basil on the leaves of the tomatoes. So on the tomato plant. So bada boom, bada bing. Um, thyme is another good one that repels. I can't remember. Um, I believe thyme repels aphids as well. Um, it's another good one to maybe uh, make a spray bottle of just water. And when you're doing anything with plants, if you're spraying directly on your plants, only use water. If you're spraying on yourself, you can do the, you can do your roller bottle with the coconut oil, or you can do witch hazel, whatever you want to look up some recipes online. I can post some later. Um, but when you're, when you're working with plants, only use water. So I've seen some people where they've had recipes with essential oils and vinegar. Um, don't use vinegar because if you get that vinegar on your soil, um, I've seen people use vinegar to kill weeds. It actually changes the pH of the soil, which you don't want to do. So that actually will um, stifle the growth of the plants that you do want to grow. Um, so be very cautious of that, of what you make sure essential oils with. Also, um, some people have used, just another tidbit, if you use, if you do use vinegar, only use white vinegar because apple cider vinegar, which I know is very popular on the market now, um, is actually sweet smelling to insects and it will actually attract insects. So just a little, little information for you. Um, and I don't have my Malaluca. So another um, problem that we can have in the gardens is fungal growth. Um, one of our best oils to kind of deal with fungal um, fungal issues in the garden is Malaluca or tea tree. Um, I know uh, I use tea tree for a variety of, of, of things, um, but when I have uh, an infestation of, of fungal growth or a fungal issue on any of my plants, I do the water. I do a couple drops of the Malaluca and I spray it on my plant leaves. Um, and that has been extremely beneficial. Um, so I've been using essential oils in my garden for about the past two years. And because I refuse, I do all organic. I refuse to use any kind of chemicals on my plants. Um, if I'm eating something, I wanna make sure that I'm not using anything that's gonna get inside me. Um, but the essential oils have been um, extremely beneficial um, for making uh, gardening just a little bit easier, a little more comfortable, um, a little less frustrating when you have an infestation or you're losing a plant, you don't know what's going on with the plant. Um, but you've got like, there's a ton of information out there. Um, there's all sorts of benefits for the essential oils in the garden. Um, and it's so much better than using like, you know, if you're using the off stuff on your skin, it smells really bad too. Um, there are so many other natural ways to, um, deter the little beasties on yourself and your plants. Um, so, um, it's just, it's a way better and healthier option for you. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, jump on, I'll be in the chat soon. Um, I know this is short and sweet, sorry. I, and I'm a little late, I just, I got stuck at work. Um, so yeah, but um, it's beautiful outside. So um, open your windows, it's not too cold anymore. Um, and it should be beautiful this weekend. So um, peace and light out to all of you. I will be on again tomorrow um, to talk about Reiki and essential oils. I am the woo woo one of the group. Um, so again, my name is Pam and I hope to see you all online soon. And if you have any questions, throw them in the chat and I'll be happy to jump on and answer them. So have a great day guys. Bye-bye.